A massive cloud of dust from Africa has traveled across the Atlantic Ocean. Look at the scene in Havana, Cuba, where the Saharan dust has given the sky a milky glow there. So it's sand. You can see that up there in the sky. It's from the Sahara Desert. It's crossing the Atlantic Ocean and it's making landfall in the Caribbean. Scientists say that it's been years, perhaps even decades, since they've seen such a thick sand hit that area. Look at this. This is a massive area of thick dust up there. Now, let's put the model into motion here and talk about our potential. As you can see, we're going to get skirted by it. We're not going to get into the deep dust. So the initial dust outbreak was driven by a few smaller storm systems right around Central and West Africa. A massive dusty air forms over this region every three to five days from late spring to early fall. It extends between 5,000 and 20,000 feet into the atmosphere. So it got up into the air, up into the atmosphere. The African easterly jet transported all that dust across the ocean. The trade winds carry the dust across the Atlantic Ocean and pushes it into parts of North and South America. Notice as we move through the week, uh, we're going to be pretty much a clear of that dust. So this weekend's the best chance to maybe see some nice sunrises and sunsets. This Saharan dust will push into the Gulf Coast states and eventually travel over the bi-state. Sunsets will take on a different hue when the dusty mass is over us. They'll be more red and orange. And they say that's even getting all the way to Texas. People in Texas are seeing hazier skies this morning. Mm. Yeah, so pretty incredible. How did it travel here again? The African Easterly yeah. Jet. Uh -huh. Despite the unique sunsets, the dust in our forecast also comes with a health warning. Remember, there's dust and there's dust. Um, and dust comes in all shapes and flavors and kinds. tiny particles and they're small enough to get into the lungs and yes they can affect your breathing. People with asthma and lung disease may notice difficulty breathing. Others may have itchy eyes or a runny nose. Most cloth masks won't filter out fine dust particulates. Those masks will be more important while the Saharan mass is over us. Uh, exposed to this kind of uh, uh, deterioration in air quality may enhance your chances of or enhance your susceptibility to a viral infection. Dr. Chris Pritchard says the tiny dust particles can easily affect those who deal with nasal allergies, asthma, or lung illnesses like COPD. They can sort of serve as a conduit for other things that we know are triggers for patients with allergies and asthma, such as viruses, bacteria, and, and uh, mold spores and pollens. 